The vertical gore tool in the Inroads Roadway Designer allows you to analyze the vertical positions of a main line and of a ramp corridor along with their cross slopes and super elevation in order to build an envelope of minimum, maximum, and ideal um, vertical locations for the vertical alignment that you can design for the ramp alignment. In this example here, we have a main line drawn in blue and a ramp line um, drawn in, in the green. Uh, coming in, and we have a gore area here that we will um, design. And what the vertical gore tool allows us to do is design the vertical alignment for this um, that will uh, generate some cross slopes, either maximum or minimum cross slopes along this gore, or ideal cross slopes based that will match the cross slopes of the main line or match the slopes of the ramp. So if we look here initially, we cut a profile along the ramp B. We can see our existing ground. We can see that, that final design corridor for our main line. Um, if we look at our initial vertical alignment, we've created one. It's not necessary to run this tool, but we've created just an initial vertical alignment um, tying into the main line up here uh, at the end. And the output from the vertical gore tool will be some features that we can project onto this profile that will show us where we need to design our vertical for this ramp um, based on the uh, cross slopes in the gore area. So if we go into the roadway designer, we can step through the stations on our on our ramp here. We see that um, initially I've designed that um, vertical alignment just to have something here to look at in the roadway designer. Um, we will edit that based on the recommendations of the vertical gore tool. As we step through, we can see our ramp is super elevated when it goes around the curve, and we can see that our our main line is also super elevated. We can see here we're in a normal crown section. And then we'll go back and we'll super elevate going into the next curve. And the vertical gore tool will look at those cross slopes um, along with a maximum slope that we want in that gore area. So we'll go to Tools Vertical Gore Tool. And the command has some good graphics on here to explain what's going on. Um, we're going to define a mainline corridor here, and it is the road one, the mainline corridor. The mainline edge, we can pick out of here in graphics, it's going to be the right outside shoulder. Our ramp corridor is ramp B. The ramp inside edge we can locate and it switches over for us and we can pick our inside edge which is the left edge of pavement and we can pick the right edge here which is our right edge of pavement. We can define a maximum difference here in the gore area and our start and stop stations we can go out here and define in the view we'll go from 280 to 780 which is already in there. Our output is going to be a surface. I'm going to name it V Gore. And I'm going to give the maximum and minimum styles a just a style I have set up to show some red lines in the profile. Red will denote the maximum and minimum. And the main line ideal style, I'm going to give it a blue style. And ramp, I'm going to give it a green to both of those to match what I have drawn out in plan view. Now, when I hit apply here, what it's going to do is it's going to step down every station along the main line and calculate a maximum slope and a minimum slope uh, for the gore. And it's going to calculate a main line ideal that'll match the cross slope of the main line. And it'll calculate a ramp ideal that'll go along the cross slope of the ramp. So every station it'll go, it'll figure out what that distance is based upon where our horizontal alignments are. And it'll calculate the vertical position of that ramp horizontal alignment. So we'll hit apply, we'll see it processing through and calculating those. And we'll hit close. And we'll close out of the roadway designer to see the results. We'll go back to our profile now. And just to illustrate that, I have some lines here. I can turn on in the design. What we can see at, at every station, it's going to go from the horizontal alignment along a distance perpendicular to the horizontal alignment of the main line until it hits the ramp inside edge and then it's going to turn perpendicular to the ramp alignment. And that's going to be your distance that it's going to calculate. So for the minimum and maximum, it's going to go that distance at that 10% that we specified. For the ramp ideal, it's going to go this distance times the cross slope of the ramp. 
and for the main line ideal it's going to go this distance times the cross over the main line in order to generate um, an envelope along this horizontal alignment where the vertical should be. So if we project those features now onto the profile by going to evaluation profile update profile we're going to display on the vertical core the projected features and we'll turn these for on. Hit apply and close. Now when we zoom in what this is telling us now um, this is telling us based upon the vertical location of the main line and the cross slope of the main line um, if we wanted to match the cross slope of the main line up to the location of the horizontal for the ramp we would make our vertical alignment along this blue line here if we wanted to match the cross slope of the ramp we would go along the green line and the, the two minimum maximums are that 10 percent in the go area so if we designed our vertical alignment for the ramp along this top red line we'd have a 10 percent difference between the, the ramp and the mainline corridor and so that's how the vertical gore tool allows you to uh, design a vertical alignment for the ramp based on the existing cross slopes.